Good morning. Hey, I know all of us have these problems, at least I assume we do. You know, the days where you just, you know, you're not feeling it. Like I just, I don't know why, but I don't feel it today. And I mean, I, you definitely, if you train a lot, you're gonna have these days a lot where you're not feeling it. You really don't feel like it. You could easily just sit down and I could and eat a ton of food right now. But what I, I just, I don't know. I think this new thing I'm doing where I fast before my first workout, um, I won't, you know, at least get an hour workout in before I'm going to eat. And I will tell you, I'm like stuck really hard to that rule, like really, really hard because I'm training my body to burn fat. That's why I'm doing it. And some really good athletes that I really respect have told me that that's what they do. And so that's what I'm doing instead of putting, you know, sitting on the couch and having the big protein shake and relaxing for a while and, and not feeling it and relaxing a little longer and not feeling it, relaxing a little longer. And you can relax a long time, but I will tell you what I found to stop procrastinating that first workout. This fast thing really worked because I'm freaking getting hungry. I can only procrastinate so long because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so I'm heading out because I got that little two mile walk that I uh, I put in a lot of days as my third workout. And I got it this morning and then I got a, uh, a weight, I got uh, yoga and weights. I'm not sure what order, I have to look at the yoga schedule. Uh, but I'm gonna get this little uh, two mile walk in, you know, try and do my 15 minute pace. And I'm usually pretty good at that at 15 minutes. Uh, and then, um, yeah, but uh, something about wanting to eat is stopping me from procrastinating any longer. So I'm gonna go hit it. All right, just finished my first workout. Feeling pretty good about it for being a lethargic, unmotivated morning. I got out there and averaged uh, 15, about 15, 25 a mile, if you can see that. Uh, and I, I, I want to tell you guys, I love these GPS watches since they came out. Used to, if you wanted to check your pace, you either had to go to a track and run around the track to get an idea of what pace you were doing, or you had to go to a place where the mile marks were marked on the road or something. This just gives you so much more flexibility. You don't want to kid yourself and think you're going faster than you are so I don't so I, I love doing this and I, lo I love it so much in the races because I need to know what pace I'm going I need to know how far I got to go to the next checkpoint and I think I shared this before but I think it's worth sharing because these things last about 12 hours this brand it's an older brand my friend Brenda uh, told me that you want to go to the one that you can get 12 hours on it's an, it's an older model uh, Garmin and so I found these, or my friend Deb did, um, who works with me, she found them on, uh, you know, on uh, Craigslist or someplace. And we bought like, I think about four or five. I figured out how long it would take me to do Arrowhead. <laughs> and I, I know I had four for sure. Maybe I had one in the sled, I don't know. But I had four on my wrist, because if you don't have them on your wrist and you just have them in the sled, uh, the batteries will, die from the cold you know it's just so cold you know when it's minus 20 minus 30 you know whatever it is crazy out there uh and you know it dies so i wore four i had four on my wrist you know two on each arm and then when one would go off boom i put the next one on but i always knew i never had to waste energy worrying how far is it to the next checkpoint how far is it? How am I gonna, you know, am I gonna make it? Am I going fast enough? Am I not going fast enough? I mean, I know exactly how far it is to the next checkpoint because I have my GPS and I also would know exactly what pace I'm going and if I'm gonna make it or not. It's just that doubt stuff in my head, wondering wastes tons of energy. It's just, you know, you're stressing and you're wasting a ton of energy. So I can't say enough you know, at least in the length of races I do uh, about wearing these GPS watches. And just, I love it for these workouts. I like to know, like last night, I didn't do, I didn't have it. I forgot it when I went around uh, uh, Schollenberger in the dark and, uh, and I was slow because I, you know, you're thinking like, oh yeah, I'm moving fast enough. <laughs> I was off by a minute a mile and I was like, 
dang, I needed my, I needed my GPS <laughs> to kick me in the butt. <laughs> got out of weightlifting hour of weightlifting 24-hour fitness down here you know I used to I used to absolutely I really disliked weightlifting it's funny because most really serious weightlifters dislike running right they don't <laughs> they don't like it at all they do it they do it but they don't like it they gotta you know they gotta get so many miles in a week aerobics and they fight it and they get it in and and I'll bet you it's the same with like, you know, with runners. If you're a pretty serious runner, uh, you don't really like lifting weights. But uh, I've learned to start, I've learned to like it a lot more and uh, than I used to. And now I'm like, I'm in the routine of it. So I've, I've lifted enough that um, it's not like uh, I'm fighting it anymore. So it's, it was, it was, it was great tonight. It's great. And, and I'll tell you, like I, I keep mentioning the, at this gym, which has a serious weightlifters, it's it's easy to get sucked into the energy. There's not a lot of people standing around talking. They're they're lifting, and I like that. I get sucked right into that energy and lift. <laughs> of course, I mostly do the machines 90% of the time, but that's all I need. I just need the machines. <laughs> all right, I just got out of yoga, and. Uh, it was one of those mellow classes again, but I really like it. And it was, it was like part meditative and part, uh, you know, just deep stretches, like 10 minute stretches. And uh, we worked a lot on breathing, you know, and working on relaxing and breathing and getting big breaths in your, your lungs, which I really like because of the fact that, um, when I climb, when you climb mountains, like when I climb Denali and it gets steep, I tend, I tend to tense up really bad when it gets steep and icy. And when that happens, you waste tons and tons of energy. So what I'm doing is, uh, so what I'm, what he's helping me is you, you just start learning how to relax yourself through your breathing. And that's what the guys told me who are, you know, the more advanced and the guides up there are telling you, you know, you will, when they get steep and they get, and they start to get tense, they, uh, they relax through their breathing and you relax through their breathing. You don't go to this. <laughs> that's not a good, that's not a good way to relax. And I think that's the, the one that I've used in the past. So I might try this deep breathing and just automatically, according to my instructor, relaxes your body it just your body starts to relax when you start breathing deep so I love it Yoga started power. started the day at the X calendar and the day at the X calendar so let me get a total on my calories 1713 calories below the 1800 get the big the big badass X another big X so Wednesday's an interesting day because I kind of, you know, see if I'm going to have to fast starting Wednesday night. I've been missing dinner pretty much most of these last Wednesdays and fasting Friday in order to make my weight 196. That's a skinny weight for me. 196 is getting seriously skinny. <laughs> hey, I want to ask you guys if anybody's using this X chart because, like, I love this thing. My nephew asked me, if the fire came down here, which was raging all around here, would I have grabbed the X chart when I ran out the door? I said, 
Absolutely. I would agree. I would add the, I would add Furley, my little pump in one arm, and I would add the X chart, the X, X calendar running down the street, running from the fire if the fire got here. Anyway, that's how much I like it. So if, if any of you are using this X calendar either to break a habit, I like it, I like the idea for breaking a habit or starting a habit. Uh, like I am with this, the habit of, uh, of losing weight and getting skinny, 1800 calories a day or less. And I get an X and Friday's my binge day. So I get an X no matter what. So if you're, if you're doing anything with these X charts, either they like to start a habit, you know, or break a habit, uh, let me know. Cause the power of the chain, put it down, put it down the calendar. I'd love to put it down in the comments. I'd love to read about it. The power of the chain.